Hello again guys, uh, the good news is I've got a replacement phone right now and tutorials from now on is going to be on LG G3. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to read the WhatsApp messages out loud using microphone remote control as a trigger. We'll be using auto notification plugin. This allows us to trace all the notification on our phone and use it in our task creations. And also we'll be using headset button controller app, which allows us to run any task in a tasker by pressing a button on our remote. I cycle a lot and each time I receive a message I'm forced to stop and check if there was something important or not. The profile allows me to listen to messages and decide if I have to stop my workout and apply. Today we'll be taking care of notifications from WhatsApp as this is neither supported by Siri or Google Now. As usual we'll start by creating new folder and I'm gonna name it Messages. Then we'll add a new trigger and that's going to be event. In event I'm going to select the plugin and this is auto notification on toast. Make sure you will allow auto notification to intercept messages. You can set this many as soon as you open auto notification for the first time. We want to monitor application WhatsApp. So in app settings we're looking for WhatsApp entry. This way, Tasker will only respond to notification coming from WhatsApp. We also want to make sure that we're going to receive all the values from that notifications. So we can do that by selecting Get All Fields. All the messages will be passed over as variables and we can use them in our tasker profile later. Now we need to create a new task that's gonna run each time the notification is received. So I'm gonna name it Receive W for WhatsApp. When I receive a new message, I wanna make sure I know who sent me that message and also have information who was the last person to send me a message. I'm gonna need new variable for that and I'm just gonna call it WhatsApp name. I'm gonna set this variable to a new variable which is gonna be taken from auto notification title field. This corresponds to your WhatsApp contact name. When creating this profile, we want to check who's sending us a new message and if the person sending us a message didn't send any messages before. We can do it by creating new if statement. So if this our first message, the previous sender won't be set. Also, if our previous message was from another person, we want to make sure we can differentiate that. This means that our current WhatsApp name should be different to the previous WhatsApp name presented by Tasker. You have to remember that a N title, auto notification title, would change the value each time new message is sent. So when we receive a new message from a new contact, we want to store it and we're gonna write it in a file. We can do that by selecting a file or writing a path to the file. If I receive a message, I will be interested in storing the auto notification title, which means contact name, and auto notification text, which means 
text message content. If, however, the message I received comes from the same contact that sent me a last message, I don't want the name to be spoken more than once. We need to make a small adjustment here and end the if statement first before we're gonna add another. To make things easier, I'm going to copy and duplicate the task write file and modify the content after the second if statement. This time, when we will receive new message, I want only message text, not notification text. I'm going to move also our action to set variable as a last option just after ending our if statement. Once the message is stored and received, we have to clear the variables. We want to clear the variable responsible for the name and the one responsible for the text. So we're going to clear auto notification text and auto notification title. And as a good practice, just rename your profile name. I'm just going to name it Received WhatsApp. We also want messages to be cleared when we check them manually so they weren't spoken anymore. We're going to use new event in the plugin auto notification on intercept and we're going to set it in action type to trigger when it's cancelled uh, from application WhatsApp. This means when we dismiss application from WhatsApp on a screen, it won't be available for our system to be read anymore. I'm going to create a new task called clear w for WhatsApp and we're going to clear the file that we've created previously that contains all the messages and names. So we're going to file, write file and we're just gonna going to overwrite it with the empty. Please remember to enter space in a text field as it won't allow you to leave it empty as it is. We also want to clear the variable that contains our name as we're not going to need it anymore. I'm going to rename the profile again and it's cleared WhatsApp. We're going also need a new task. The task name is read and it will perform the readout of the messages that we have stored in the file. We want Tasker to access our file and read the content of the file to the variable. I'm going to name it current messages w. Now I want Tasker 
to say out loud the messages I've got stored. So we're going to use the function say and we enter some text that's going to be spoken. In this case I'm going to enter you have a WhatsApp message from and then I'm going to enter variable current messages w. Once the messages are read, I want to dismiss and clear all the messages that I had stored in my variables and in the file. So all I have to do is just to perform the task clear w, which I've created before. Now we're going to link our profile to the trigger. We're going to use headset button controller application that allows you to assign a task to a button controller. This means if I click triple times on my controller button, on the remote button, the task read WhatsApp messages will be launched. This is part one of the project. In the next part, we're going to learn how to link more applications to the current profile and make them work together. This setup also allows us to pass the information to another device or computer. I hope you're gonna find this profile useful and see you in the next part.